What's going on, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Cal versus Oregon college basketball matchup going down Saturday, February 24th, 2024. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games that I love, including my daily $19 best bet, make sure that you head on over to PickDogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. But let's get to this one between Cal and Oregon, and you've got uh, Cal coming into this one with a record of 12 and 15 on the year, eight and eight in conference play, coming off of back-to-back -back wins, following an 81 to 73 win at home over Oregon State in their last matchup. While Oregon comes in with a record of 18 and eight on the year, 10 and five in conference play after a 78 to 65 victory over Stanford in their last matchup. And you know this this Cal team has sort of been, I don't say flying under the radar. Um, for a lot of folks, but I think they've been a lot better than they than a lot of people probably would have given them credit for coming into the season because this was a, a Cal team that Mark Madsen took over and uh, it was left in shambles for the better part of the last few seasons, um, especially last year under Mark Fox, left 3-29, and 2-18 and in conference play, and they didn't finish with a, um, a uh, winning record under Mark Fox, and even back when Viking Jones was... Um, was the head coach. They finished with eight wins in each of those two seasons. You have to go back to Conzo Martin's uh, tenure in 2017 for the last winning season for the Golden Bears. They'll have to win out for that to happen, but uh, still some time for Mark Madsen to get that done. The problem is I don't know if it's going to be a spot for them to do that here, mainly because Oregon, I think, is the better team. Now, I have, I've, I've ragged on Oregon, and I feel like it's been for good reason because, you know, Dana Altman always hits the transfer portal hard. And despite bringing in all these decent transfers and these high-profile transfers, they never really live up to expectations, Oregon does. I mean, look at Oregon under uh, under Dana Altman. This was usually a team that was a regular fixture in the NCAA tournament from 2013 to 2017. And their, their most recent appearance was 2021. But since then, they haven't made the NCAA tournament. They've had a couple of postseason appearances in the NIT, but it's, it's usually NCAA tournament or bust for this Ducks team. Uh, but I do think they have a decent shot to get back there. Then Now, they do need to pick up some wins because right now they're not even in the next four out conversation. They're they're not even in, 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 in the talks right now for an at-large bit if they don't win the Pac-12 tournament. And a loss here would do a lot more damage than anything to uh, to Oregon's, you know, uh, resume. But the Ducks in this matchup, you know, they are the better shooting team. They were the better shooting team when these two teams first met. Um, earlier this season, Oregon won that game in Eugene, 80-73. to but Oregon is built to exploit Cal's weaknesses defensively. Nationally, this is a Cal team that's 295th in three-point defense. Oregon, 61st in three-point shooting. They're around, you know, the national average in three-pointers attempted per game. But they're, shoot, they're like I said, shooting 36.1% against Division One opposition. Uh, just outside the top 50 in adjusted offensive efficiency. Cal, sort of in the same boat here, shooting 34.7% from behind the arc. But Oregon does have the better defense. They're just outside the top 75 in defensive efficiency. You know, they do force a fair number of turnovers. And I just think that Oregon might be the slightly better team here. Um, Cal, they've got guys like Jalen Cohn, Jalen Tyson, Fardas Imac. But those guys were all held in check when the, when the first time these two teams met. And I think Oregon has the pieces to be able to do it again. I'm going to go with Oregon on the road. I, I I like what I've seen from the Ducks away from home. They are 6-3 and three straight up on the road this season. I think they improved to 7-3. and three. I'm going to take Oregon in this one. And that's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. While you're at Pick Dogs, check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business and tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. And while you're at our YouTube channel, make sure you have notifications turned on so you can be the first to be in the know when the newest content drops here at Pick Dogs. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.